Lower extremity dysfunctions and the anatomy they are associated with are best remembered in this picmonic of the townspeople plagued by a variety of lower extremity dysfunctions. The lower extremity is colloquially called the leg and comprises the hip and everything below it. The hip joint is anatomically known as the femoral acetabular joint, shown here as the femur acid tab bowl joint. On the other hip, we can examine this farmer's femoral head angulation, represented literally by her femoral angle. The potato farmer has patellofemoral pain syndrome, shown by the potato femur pain bolt. This syndrome is characterized by a lateral deviation of the patella due to muscle imbalances and is treated by strengthening the vastus medialis. On his other leg, we can see an out-of-whack Q angle. The Q angle is the angle made by the intersection of two imaginary lines, one from the asis to the patella and one from the patella to the tibial tubercle. One of the most common dysfunctions of the lower extremity is osteoarthritis, shown as ostrich King Arthur. Osteoarthritis is a degeneration of joint cartilage that progresses over time and disproportionately affects weight-bearing joints. All of the dissatisfaction manifests on the face of this unhappy triad triangle, who represents the unhappy triad. The unhappy triad consists of injury to the ACL, MCL, and medial meniscus. This is usually caused by a lateral blow to the knee while the ankle is immobilized. Fibular head dysfunctions are shown by the fibber head dysfunctioning. These commonly occur after repeated ankle sprains and comprise two types, posterior fibular and anterior fibular. In the lowest portion of this picmonic, we see representations of the foot, the lowest part of the lower extremity. The tibio-talar joint is shown as the Tibetan ankle. Our Tibetan seems to be suffering from an inversion ankle sprain, seen as the upside-down ankle sprain. An eversion ankle sprain is the counterpart to inversion ankle sprain and is depicted by the Mount Everest everting ankle spring. The foot has three major arches, represented by the arches. The medial longitudinal arch, the lateral longitudinal arch, and the transverse arch. Plantar fasciitis is shown by the plant fashion on fire. This condition is associated with inflammation of the plantar fascia. Let's quickly recap. Lower extremities dysfunctions occur in the hip, knee, and fibula. The hip consists of the femoral acetabular joint and the femoral head angulation. As for the knee, one should consider patellofemoral pain syndrome, Q angle, osteoarthritis, and unhappy triad. Fibular head dysfunction is a concern for the fibula. Below that is the tibio talar joint. Both inversion and eversion sprains can occur in the ankle. Lastly, when assessing the foot, be sure to check the arches for plantar fasciitis. The people of this little town were hit by a strange syndrome. Their lower extremities started to dysfunction, and they can't stop dancing around. It was as if a little bull was in their hip that took something strange, and now their femoral heads are moving in all kinds of angles. The potato farmer was hit first. His potato knee was racked with pain. So much so, his Q angle was thrown out of whack. The people pleaded to their King Arthur for help, but he just sat upon his high ostrich and demanded that they stop complaining and keep farming. The whole situation created a very unhappy triangle throughout the town. So the people were left to dance until they fell further into destruction. They felt as though they were lied to, and this fibber head caused even more pain and dysfunction. For the rest of the story, check out Picmonic.com and sign up for a free account. There, you can also take Picmonic's quiz. The quiz automatically sets up your daily quiz by using spaced repetition algorithms based on the questions you've missed or struggled with to make sure you study what you need when you need to. And while you're there, check out the rest of our Body Regions Picmonics. We've got all the content you'll need to remember. Everything from Cranial 2, Strain Patterns, Cranial Motion and Structural Exam, Sacrum Motion and Structural Exam, Sacrum 2, Somatic Dysfunctions of the Sacrum, and Nominates, and so much more, so you can lock down on everything you need to know forever. Play, Quiz, and Spaced Repetition. Efficient, effective, 
and research proven to increase exam scores.